What is up? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have the LC6000 from the Prime Series Den and DJ. It is a very, very cool layered media controller for Den and DJ, but then a lot of other products as well. So we're going to be getting into that today with unboxing, pros and cons, and all kinds of details on the item. I'm also going to tell you with a special promotional offer that's going on, how you can get one of these for free with a little bit of a catch, but that's coming towards the end of the video as well. So stay tuned for the whole video to get that information. If you like review videos, please tune into my station, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. I do all kinds of items, including electronics, DJ equipment, speakers, headphones, all kinds of things. If I can get my hands on it and I think it's a value item or a good item, I'll definitely bring that to you. I, like I said, I like to do tutorials, I like to help, I like to do the research for you so you don't have to bring you pros and cons, I bring it to you as easy as possible. And then leave some links in case you guys are interested in the items as well. So please tune into my station, I'm only trying to help, trying to bring you the best videos as possible, I'm always learning, always taking feedback, positive or negative, and then applying it to my channel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, please lock in, I have so much content for you this summer, including all kinds of the items like I... Uh, advised before so thank you to my subscribers that have always tuned in and all your great feedback but please like subscribe and share so I can continue growing my channel so let's get into the video on the LC 6000 I have a lot of information including like I said the unboxing pros and cons looking at the controller and you know kind of give you a little background on who's this for and why I picked it up. So, all right, let's go ahead and unbox this item. Now I already have it unboxed, but you can see that the box is right here behind me. If you've ever bought anything from Den and DJ, you know that they pack their items very well. The box looks extremely professional and worth the value. And they put a lot of details on the box as well. This is the, S, uh, the LC6000 Prime Controller Performance Expansion Controller. Uh, it is a layer controller that is for their Prime Series. And basically, I'll tell you what that means a little bit later, but let's get into you know what else is in the box. Of course, you're gonna get the actual controller itself, which is very, very nice, a light six pounds. I wouldn't say it's quite portable, but uh, definitely lighter than, like, let's say the SC5000 or 6000. So definitely has the same look, a lot of the same features, except just not having that big screen at the top. And so very, very, very nice, but very, very, very simple. Uh, power supply right there, and then they have on and off. So basically, yes, plug and play, and this thing should get going. So that is the controller right there. In the box as well, you're gonna get that cable, that USB cable to go ahead and plug that into your laptop which will provide it power, but if your laptop doesn't have enough juice to power this, you can also power it with a optional power supply that is also provided, so that is nice that they provide an optional power supply, and we'll get into that a little bit later with some details. And then of course an instruction manual that has your project registration and some warranty material and all kinds of stuff in here, So, but a very, very good little manual as well. So. Of course, the Denon DJ LC6000 is $700. So it's not the cheapest thing on the block and it kind of took a plunge for me to go ahead and do it, but I will get to that a little bit later on why I did that and pros and cons on that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of a little tutorial, how to fire this up, get everything going. I am using it today with the uh, Rain uh, 72 MK2 Great mixer with so much stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go. I, I, I haven't had one of these for that long. It's actually new for me as well. So I'm gonna do another video on just that mixer as well, with you know a little bit of tutorial and my pros and cons. I'm using amazing. it with this setup to bring you, but this will work with other oh. setups we'll get into. So I'm just gonna show you how simple it is with a little tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna then I'll show you the, all the controllers themselves features, things like that. And then I'll go into the pros and cons and wrap this video up. So let's go ahead and switch views and I'll give you some information on tutorial how to fire this up. We are back and like I said, here's the box and here's my MK72. Here are the new controllers as well. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to set up. So like I said, pretty much plug and play. We're gonna go ahead and go to the back and we're just gonna plug this guy into 
the connector here right here kind of hard to do with one hand but we'll get that plugged in right there pull that over a little now i will show you on this one here that i do have it plugged in I did use that additional uh, power supply on one of them but i've heard that there are issues with the mk72 not being able to provide enough power for both of these at the same time so that's why i had to hook up one with the optional power supply so what we're going to go ahead do is i usually this is how i do it there might be other ways but this is just the easiest i found it to work every time because i've had issues where it won't find these controllers so this is the easiest thing to do is i just go to my serato dj pro i fire my software up first so we're going to fire this up i fire my software up first it's going to fire up and then i'm going to go ahead and turn everything on all at the same time so i'm actually going to go ahead and fire up my controller there fire up this controller and it's not firing up because at the same time i'm going to go ahead and fire up because it's plugged into my rain 72 and fire that up so it'll turn on at the same time and now you will see that once everything gets read by my software which it says it's reading on the bottom which only takes a few seconds it's actually going to come up on the bottom here which channel i want where see it's blinking the two channels here you can see once again it's blinking the two channels here so i want this to be my channel number one so i'm going to go ahead and hit right here and boom and this to be my channel number two i'm going to hit the second one over boom and we are ready to go it is honestly that easy very 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 cool and we have a two channel setup here we have your denon djl uh, layer controllers here and i have my channel two here and i can mix between both of them on the 72 it does have the screen on here as well and i can do so many things with this setup without going to the laptop it's pretty pretty cool kind of the extra things that you can do with these controllers is it works with so many softwares as you can see it works of course it is made for the engine os but it does work with dj algorithm virtual dj and serato dj pro so it is very very cool that they allowed these to work with other software so let's go ahead and kind of talk about them really quick you do have your 8.5 inch jog wheel which i think is fantastic uh, you do have your 3.5 inch display once again it basically on the serato it will just kind of tell you you know it'll just have that serato label you can uh, put in your logos as well it will do that i have that set up on my denon dj prime 4 i haven't got to it here but you can do that as well so that is cool it does have of course auto loop this touch strip uh, needle drop touch strip uh, your manual in and out for looping it does have a sensor and a reverse does have uh, your track skip beat uh, jump cue and play it is set up like I said like uh, the SC 5000 or 6000 and it does have your eight pads right here which you can and it does have your shift button here hot cue loop roll slicer your loop adjuster and then your pads here for your cues and everything I don't have anything set in there so nothing's lit up yet it does have a very very nice accurate tempo fader it does have your sync and master it does have your wheel adjust so you can add some tension to it with this uh, wheel adjust right here which is nice and then of course it does have your browser so it will work and uh, browse through your uh, library and you can go back and forward uh, with the buttons up top as well and then of course you do have a slip mode which is also your deck select if you hit shift you'll be able to select uh, up to you know the four channels you can you could use just one of these for four channels by selecting through that as well so very very versatile so very cool and then of course your pitch bend and range on the bottom other than that pretty simple but i mean it does look like a solid setup so very very professional very very good looking and like I said, it works with so many other softwares, virtual DJ, DJ Pro algorithm. If you had your S, 
C5000 or 6000, you could have that set up here and then have another layered controller the way they'd like it to work with the Prime series here. And you'd be able to, you know, have dual formats, which I'll put a picture in really quick right now. That way you can kind of see what that would look like. Uh, very, very cool. And then so you'd, you'd run, you'd see everything in this. And if you had a Denon DJ mixer uh, that had the DVS as well, uh, those don't have screens in them. So you'd be able to use a screen in your SC5000 or SC6000. And you'd still be able to, you know, have full manipulation of both channels or more uh, with that. Or you could have two SC500s and have up to four decks over here. So you could have, you know, four decks. Now you can uh, use a controller. Most controllers, I could use like a Pioneer uh, 200 and put it in here and I could still have full control over the four channels, even with a little bit of a controller as well. So a very, very versatile. So I do like that about it. And they're simple, plug and play. You saw how quickly I was able to hook that up, get that going and we're good to go. So I'll just load up a song really quick that I can. All right, so got started right up, but you see it did bring up my hot cues, things like that. Very, I mean, these are very nice controllers and they're really easy to do. I can search through with my needle drop uh, on my, you can see that it's moving through there. Uh, so very, very cool, very, very easy to use. They are responsive. I, I have no really bad feelings about the setup. It looks, like I said, it looks very, very professional and you can set it up. So also it's nice to have the Rain uh, 72 MK2 as well, which like I said, I'll go over this. There's so many things you can do with this that it would be a super long video. I'll go over this a little bit later, even though it's been out a while, uh, just to give you my thoughts on it. Very, very solid setup with uh, Serato DJ Pro. Now these do work with Virtual DJ. And so all this whole setup will work with that software. The only things that they don't really have going right now for them is record box and tractor but i don't see why tractor couldn't get some kind of patch to be able to so. use these very very cool so i'm going to go ahead and flip out of this Wrap this video up with pros and cons i have a lot more pros than i do cons but we're going to get all into that and get you guys out of here also tell you how you can get these uh, on a special offer right now but first let's get to those pros and cons first of all Let's just talk about a little of the specs that I think are definitely pros. Uh, the jog wheels are absolutely fantastic. The 8.5 inch diameter, big jog wheels. They feel very nice. You can adjust the tension on them. The RGB pads are feel very nice. They're not clicky at all. They feel uh, and work nicely, very touch sensitive and everything is good there. All the controls and everything on this controller are very, very, very nice. So I do love the jog wheels. Uh, I love that size. I love, uh, they kind of remind me of the FLX6 from Pioneer. I got kind of spoiled with that controller with the very, very nice uh, large jog wheels. So I am getting kind of used to that. And so it's nice that these have that as well. Uh, they look very, very professional. So I'm just gonna stand right now and tell you that I love the way this setup looks. It's, it's simple, but works. And so, I do like the way the uh, 72 MK2, the Rain, and the Denon DJ all match up. Uh, I also have a Mixars Duo, uh, which I'll probably be you know, giving you some information on too. That would work in this setup as well. And you could actually use so many things. There's controllers that you could use. Like I said, these are layered controllers, so they're so versatile, and that's a positive as well, that they work with so many softwares like Engine OS, DJ Algorithm, Virtual DJ, and Serato DJ Pro. That that it just makes them super versatile, and that is definitely a positive in all aspects of these uh, controllers. They also kind of look like a CDJ. The, uh, uh, CDJs are expensive as well, so 
they still run about 850 so the cheapest one i think like i said is pioneer xdj uh, 200 and those are right around 850 even used the sc 5000 sc 6000 brand new are 16 1500 dollars so these are definitely cheaper than getting a media type player like this uh, so definitely positives from a price point now in my opinion i think these are still a little bit for what you're getting here a plug and play controller uh, they're a little bit pricey in my opinion. Uh, I think they could be closer to like 500 instead of $700. But, you know, I don't make them and, you know, I can see why they're doing what they're doing. But they're definitely a value uh, because they work with so many things. And so I think that's kind of the positive that I'm getting is the main thing for me is how versatile and how different kind of setups you can do to be able to control four uh, decks with one of these very 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 cool so let's go into some negatives of course my first negative I'm gonna go straight to what it doesn't work with is tractor and record box now uh, probably will never work with record box but I could see them maybe coming up with a patch for uh, tractor DJ I'm a big tractor user so I'd love to be able to use these with a uh, Z2 uh, one of my favorite mixers uh, and uh, softwares I love to use so I could see that patch coming in the future let me know if you see it before me in the comments that way I can add that and also I can't wait till they work with the prime 4 a prime 2 or prime go if that happens add that to the comments as well I'd love to hear when it works for that but right now they're only working with that setup with the SC 5000 6000 and then both of the M models as well with the 5000 and 6000 so very very cool uh, that they work with those, but like I said, I wish it worked with those other ones that I just told you as well. Uh, as a positive too, to go back real quick, I was glad that it did come with that extra power supply because as you see, as a negative, I did have issues with the Rain 72 not being able to provide enough power for both of these. Now, if you hooked them in straight into the laptop, it would have enough power, but you know, that could be positive and negative. A negative is that point that if you do have to hook all this up you will need some extra USB ports so I know that the some mixers will have extra USB ports but if you don't you might need a buy an extra accessory like a USB hub to be able to provide power for these units or if you can't do that you might have to you know have extra outlets to be able to plug them in as well so uh, no matter what uh, you're going to need some extra USB ports to be able to plug these into your laptop to get the signal to them. So, All right, if you stayed this long, you really want to know how you can get up to two of these LC6000s for free. What you need to do is you need to go to Guitar Center. Go to their online purchasing app or online uh, web, and you have to purchase a Rain 72 MK2 for full price at $18.99. So load that in your cart and then load up to two LC6000s and you will get the LC6000s for absolutely free. I'm not joking. That's $1,400 value. You can get absolutely free. So that's $3,200 right there of total equipment and you'll get $1,400 of it free. You do have to pay for the Rain 72 MK2. You do have to pay for that but they have a lot of offers to get you, you know, uh, zero interest for 12 months. They can get you a gear card. They can get you into, you know, uh, some credit so you can be able to afford to get the rain. But you do get the LC 6000s for free. So I think it's a great deal. That's $1,400 value. Uh, I happened to ran into it and I said, I think it's time. Uh, I can go ahead and do that. I thought it was a really, really good deal. And now I do have an Rain 72 MK2 and I have the LC 6000s, which I got for free. So it's a great deal. It is supplies uh, are limited. It only lasts, I don't know, uh, but I happen to see it. This I am making this video as of July 1st, 2022. I don't know how long ago. It could be ending already. It could be uh, ending soon I don't know so but you guys need to look into it if you guys are interested and definitely take a look at it because it is a great value now one extra thing I just want to point out is who this equipment is for 
this equipment is definitely for the expert DJ. It's for the DJ that established, the DJ that has, uh, you know, means and necessary ways to get all this equipment and to have full control over all four channels of his music. So it's definitely for the professional DJ, in my opinion. If you are a beginning or intermediate DJ, I definitely say that you don't really need to get this, in my, in my opinion. It's nice to have, I'm at a point where I've been DJing for 10 years. I'm not a every weekend gig type of guy, but I do have a lot of equipment and it's nice to be able to layer this equipment with my other equipment. So I thought it was an investment. I do have some other really nice mixers. I have the Z2 and a Mixars Duo and some other uh, really nice mixers. So I thought the addition of this definitely can help me uh, with what I do and it can help me with you know setups like this so I've definitely been DJing a long time but this is something I never would have done without you know the time that I put in I definitely wouldn't buy this uh, I would have stuck with a normal controller you know a, a two-channel controller uh, so I don't think if you're a beginning or intermediate DJ who really need equipment like this if you have the means and you can afford equipment like this it's an absolute deal but if you are a beginning DJ I would definitely just stick with a normal controller there's nothing wrong with that uh, especially controllers like the FLX6 which I was talking about earlier or the Hercules 500 is a great controller those are all great controllers that if you can afford uh, when you start out they're gonna take you a long way so like I said if you need full control of your music and your more established expert DJ out there. This is a great addition, great tech, great equipment to get that done for you. If you're a beginning DJ and you absolutely have no limit on money and you wanna, you know you're gonna be doing this for a long time, then this is definitely an option for you, especially with the deal with Guitar Center as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I just thought I'd add that. Food for thought, if you guys like review videos, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tune into my station, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. There is so much more content. I'm also gonna be bringing you a video on the MK2 because I've just got my hands on it, so I wanna kinda go over some of my thoughts on it. More videos to come on all kinds of equipment and tutorials, so thank you guys for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. We'll catch you all later.